Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy Rod Howard and uh, for those of you that don't know today I'm getting the opportunity to celebrate my 30th birthday. Amazing, right? Eh, yeah, kind of, kind of amazing. Yeah, I'll be honest, celebrating a 30th birthday is a very different experience than I've ever had before. It's not like when you turn 21, you're kind of waiting for it, you're excited because you can go into the club. By 18, you can go buy, like, I'm gonna buy a pack of cigarettes when I turn 18 just because I could. Um, yeah, so it's, it's not kind of like that, you know, when you turn 30, it's different. Um, on one hand, you start to kind of feel like, dude, I'm getting kind of old. Um, but on the other hand, you're excited because you're, you're blessed to still be here. Um, I know uh, something that bothers a lot of my friends that turn 30 or that made that transition to turning 30 is you feel as if you're not where you need to be in your life. You feel as if you're not as, as successful as you planned on being when you were 18 and you were thinking about being 30. But what I would like to talk to you guys about today is that, hey, success is a journey, not a destination. So a lot of people I like to think that a lot of times um, in life, because of what has been determined to be socially acceptable, we set these goals on where we should be at in life by a certain age. I know a lot of people I talk to, they say, man, I don't have any kids, I don't have a house, I don't have this, that, and other, but that's okay if you don't have that. Because the thing is, as long as you're continuing to move in the direction that you want to be at in life, you're successful. You haven't quit yet, and that says so much, man. That, that's a really big thing. I think sometimes we get so focused on trying to keep up with the Joneses and put up these fronts for people that don't matter. We kind of lose sight of the fact that, hey, everybody's journey is different. You may not make it to the goal that you want to make it to, um, as fast as I do or someone else does. I may not make it as fast as someone else does, but if I spend so much time focusing on what other people are doing and when they achieve their goals, then I just completely will lose sight of what it is I'm working for. So what I want to say to everybody, stay encouraged. You may be hitting that 30 year old point, but the thing is that's not the end of everything, man. That means you're just getting started. So continue to push continue to work towards being successful for those that are celebrating their 30th birthday uh take advantage of that take pride in that um yeah so 30 is cool eh, kind, kind of like i'll be honest i was actually sitting there thinking like dude i'm going to disable my age on facebook and i'm going to stay 28 forever yeah y'all notice i went back two years but i was gonna stay 28 forever but i decided not to do that i take ownership of being 30 30 is a blessing. A lot of people did not get the opportunity to make it to 30, so I, I relish in this opportunity. Uh, now, one thing I did do, uh, or I told myself when I was approaching this birthday, I compiled a list of things that I said I will not do once I turn 30. So if it's okay, I'm going to take a second and share that with you guys. My first rule that I, that I plan on following, um, I will not feel compelled to follow the latest fashion trends. So, um, I feel like by the time you hit 30, you should be pretty confident in uh, your fashion selection or, or, or feel confident in your sense of you, your, your, your ness. So um, you shouldn't necessarily have to feel compelled to follow every single fashion trend just because it's in. So there are a few things that specific pieces you will not catch me wearing. Um, jogger pants. I've made, I've been kind of torn about this one, but I've made the conscious decision. I'm sticking with it. I will not be wearing jogger pants. They look cool, uh, but you will not catch me wearing them. Um, jogger pants. No, I I'm not doing those. Leather pants. I think leather pants have been around for a really long time. Um, I know Kanye kind of brought them back. Uh, there's numerous celebrities wearing leather pants. Uh, no, uh, down in Dallas, uh, leather shorts were a thing for a while. You will not catch me wearing leather pants. I can just imagine kind of like when people take off leather pants after they've been sweating, just the funk project. Ugh! I, I don't want to do that. I can't do that. Not, not to say that my leather pants would be filled with funk because they wouldn't. No, not mine. Uh, but anyway, uh, skirts, kilts, baggy pants, baggy jeans, uh, tennis shoes, no beef to anyone that wears those. You would just not be blessed with the opportunity to see me wear any of those particular items of clothing. Uh, yeah, another thing that I've committed to other than fashion that I do not plan on embarking on 
or, or taking full advantage of is any new social media websites. Uh, well, every single social media website that released that is released in the near future, man. Um, I have a really difficult time keeping up now. Facebook, um, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and that's where I get off the train. Uh, my cousin was talking to me about Snapchat uh, a while ago, and I'm like, Snap, what? What are you talking about? Well, it's this thing, man, where you can, like, send videos and, and you people can... I, I don't know. I just told him, stop, man. I, I don't even care. I don't plan on, on signing up for a Snapchat account. Don't want to do it. Let me off, bro. I'm okay not knowing. I'm, I'm kind of okay just not knowing. Anything new at this point, it frightens me. I don't, I don't want to deal with it. Um, yeah. Uh, feeling compelled to jump on every single video game console. Uh, that, that's another thing. That's, that's the geek in me talking. Um, yeah, my, my son kind of made me feel bad. He was talking about video games in, in the olden days. I'm like, dude, what do you mean? The 1900s? I'm like, okay. The, you know what? This is where we stop talking. Uh, okay. Another thing. Clubs. I do not feel compelled to go to the newest clubs. I don't even want to, I have zero interest in, in even going to any clubs. Clubs make me angry, they're crowded, they're loud, they just, they rub me the wrong way. I remember last time I went to the club, I tried to go to a club to celebrate a friend's birthday. By the time I made it to the bar and back to where everybody was, I bumped into so many people that I probably had like a quarter of my drink left. No. Uh, and, and then just kind of since we're talking about bumping into people, I went to another uh, club to go see one of my friends perform. I, I, I like bumped into this guy and I spilled like drink all over his graphic tee and his shoes and he, he looked at me like, dude, I will kill you. He didn't say that, but he looked like, dude, I'll kill you. But I was like so nice. I was like, sir, uh, Mr. Graphic Tee, man, I apologize for spilling my drink on your graphic tee and your shoes, man. Please don't kill me. No, I didn't say that, but I, I was very, I apologize. But I just felt really bad, man. I don't like being in those crowded situations, man. So no, I'm okay with the club. You, you can potentially catch me hanging out in a bar or something, checking out an indie band or something. I'm okay with that. Clubs, no. No, thank you. You and I catch me there. Alright. The the last and, I guess, most important thing uh, on my list, uh, you won't catch me trying to make art to keep up with everybody else. I feel like with art, since that's something that I do, whether it's uh, photography, videography, or, or creating music, I feel like it's something that I'm going to do to stay in my own lane. Will it be a reflection of times, of the, the time that I'm in at times? That's, that's a lot. Will it be a reflection of times at times? Yes, but only at my disclosure. I don't feel compelled to follow trends that everyone else is doing because they say it's cool and I think that's part of being a good, uh, a good artist. Um, the last thing on my list, uh, I will not be a 30 year old that's rapping. Oh crap, who wrote this? I didn't write that. Oh, never mind. Just, just ignore that last one. Okay, but again, thank you guys for everybody that's left a comment on my Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram that's wished me happy birthday. If I hadn't got an opportunity to message you back, thank you so much for uh, celebrating this day with me. Thank you. All right.